bus, then you have that horrible gut feeling because you know you want to see your child, but they make it so hard. They have it out in like nowhere land. And you finally get, as it goes over the bridge, you know, right away the tears start coming because I know I'm going to see him and I don't want to see him there, but I have no choice. So finally you get called to see him. Now, if he's, when he was in adolescence, it's this huge big room where, you know, different tables, everybody's seeing everybody's, like a little happy meeting place. But once you're in solitary, when you visit him in solitary, you actually get locked in a cell. It's bars and it's like you're in prison also. But surprisingly, Khalif preferred our visit to be in a cell than to be in the open. They had two like picnic benches. And he said, because when you sit there, the guards can easily get to you. Or if you have a beef with another inmate, it's open season because there's no barge. You're not protected. So we are locked in a cell and he's talking to me and he'll tell me what he went through that week. And I cry a lot. So the tears would start coming and he would say, Ma, stop, you're making a movie, stop, stop. Because if they see me showing emotion, then they know he said something and he'll suffer for it later. So I had to be stone-faced, but inside it's killing me. And, you and you're just so glad to see him. And when it's time to leave, it's like somebody stabbing you in the heart because you can't take your child home with you. Now, if he was home with me, he wouldn't be going through beatings and starvation. He'd be home. And these are the people that are entrusted with the care of your child, and they mistreat them. And my son spent nearly two years in solitary. Rikers is horrible. Mm -hmm.